Hey guys, what's up? It's Jen, and today we're gonna talk about how to play a G major scale horizontally across the neck on all strings. So I'm assuming that you're used to the kind of typical vertical way of playing a, a scale. In this case, we're talking about a G scale. But what I've noticed with a lot of my students and with myself in my playing is that we get so stuck in being in a pattern. And a guitar is pattern based, so it makes perfect sense. But when it's time to move or create dynamics, I find that a lot of people, again, including myself, get stuck. So I thought it would be a good idea to just go, okay, how are we gonna play this G scale all the way up the neck this way on each string? So we're actually gonna start with the third string because that's our open G. And we've got G, whole step to A, on your second fret, whole step to B, on your fourth fret, half step to C, on your fifth fret, whole step to D, on your seventh fret, whole step to E, on your ninth fret, whole step to F sharp, on your eleventh fret, and then a half step to G on your 12th fret. Now you can keep going if you want to. You can go to the A, whole step to A, so you're starting over again. Whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm going to try to be quiet, <laughs> that is, <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go. And then you can resolve back to G. Okay, so now let's try it from the high in pitch E string. So we've got, you start with your open E, so you're starting on the sixth degree of the scale. So you've got E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, so now we're at the one, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G. Now we can keep going, I'm starting over, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D. So I'll play that for you slow, starting from the E. And then again, if you want to resolve to G. Okay, now let's take a look at the B string. So we've got open B, which is starting on the third degree of the scale. So B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, we're on the eighth fret now, um, whole step to A, whole step to B, Let's keep going as far as we can. Half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, and if you can, you can hit this A here, <laughs> and back to G. Okay, so one more time. Okay, 
We've already done the G, so let's move to the D string now, your open fourth string. So D is the fifth degree of the scale, so we're starting from five. Here we go. So we've got D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, so we're at the root now, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, let's keep going, whole step to A, whole step to B. And I can actually get this C half step. Okay? So without me talking, starting on D. to this G if you want. Okay, the next is going to be our open A, which is starting on the second degree of the G scale. So we've got open A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, whole st uh, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, and then I can actually get this G right here, half step. So let's do that one more time. So now the cool thing is if we get to the sixth string, the sixth string is the exact same as the first string because they're both E's. We'll go over it again just so you can make sure that you've got it right uh, with this octave. But it, it's the, once you know one of the E's, you know both of them. So that makes it really cool. So let's go. Remember, we're starting from the sixth degree of this of the G scale, which is E. So you've got E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, step to D. You can resolve here. Four. So one more time. Starting on E. So now what I'd like you to try to do is first memorize the whole steps and half steps. So if we're starting on G, it would be whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. 
So any G that you can find on the neck, use that pattern and that'll build a G major scale for you every single time without question. Then maybe take a little bit of a G groove, right? And just pick a string and start to improvise. Let's use the, the third string because it's already G, which is the key that we're in. So do something like... And then when you feel comfortable with that string, move to a different string, say the A string. Let's go from there. Two, three, four. So look, I get that if this is a new technique for you, you're not gonna be able to go that fast and it's totally fine, you go at your own speed. I just wanna give you some new techniques because if you're soloing and you're very pattern based, it can feel um, very inhibiting because you're stuck right here, right? You can't move anywhere else. Whereas if you're kind of here, but you remember, how to get, how to move around the neck this way, instead of just this way, just this way, just this way, everything starts to be more connected. So if you have two patterns, if you have a pattern here, and you have a pattern here, then I can walk my way up on any string, then get into some pattern-based stuff. Say we're gonna walk it back down. Does that make sense? I know it's a lot, but you just wanna take it in little, little chunks. You know, do one string a day, or even if you need to, one string a week until you start to feel more comfortable with seeing the notes this way. And I guarantee you it's going to open up your soloing, it's going to open up the way that you see the neck and um, make you feel a little more free as a player. And that's what we're looking for anytime we're trying to improve is how do we get more freedom with the instrument. So give that a go. Let me know if you have any questions or if there are particular scales or techniques that you want me to go over. I'm happy to do so. You know how much I love theory and technique, so I'll talk about this all day. I talk about a lot of things all day, but this is one of them that, that I really enjoy talking about because I can just talk about stuff all day. Some things that I don't enjoy talking about, but I'll still talk because I'm lonely. <laughs> all right, um, this is a Patreon supported video and I have to say you guys are amazing to me and it has been a year and a half of support to do these tutorials and to make creative content that means so much to me. So thank you to all my Patreon supporters who have been with me for a long time. And if you're interested in finding out how to support these videos, please go to www.patreon.com with my name, Jen Tranny, and you can see how you can support this. And um, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions and man, have fun with this one. Definitely have a good time. Okay, talk to you soon.